the average investor, I think you should buy real silver. You should buy it now, and you should hold it with an outlook of at least five years. But I think it's the one investment that's probably not only the best investment, but it's probably the best overall investment from the standpoint is you're buying real money, you're buying something historically known, you're buying something that's negotiable worldwide, and you're buying something that is in high demand in all kinds of aspects on a worldwide basis, and it's not going away. Silver has been so cheap for so long that everyone expects that's the way it normally is. It's not. This, this part of time and space is an aberration in the history of precious metals, particularly silver. Silver is selling so cheap in comparison to gold, which is so cheap in comparison to the economic imbalances, that it is staggering to the imagination. The only good thing about this whole thing is that the, the gross ignorance and stupidity of the majority of investors means that the asset is so underpriced that those who get in now, before those people understand the error of their ways, will make gigantic amounts of money when silver does get back to its normalized, everyday, precious metal price. It is the poor man's gold. I think the outlook for silver prices you know, continues to be good for uh, you know, easily a, a, another decade or so. There's a great potential for, for explosive growth in the price of silver. This thing should be sell it should be selling for over a hundred right now. But it's not. What a bargain. And what we're looking at right now is we are looking at all of these catalysts converging simultaneously in the silver market that could propel the price of this metal to heights that we can only begin to imagine. Well, you know, I'm asked this question a lot surprising. How much should I have? And they give me lots of statistics about how much money they have, where their money is, blah, 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 blah. I tell them, go out and buy a hundred ounces. Go to bed. When you wake up tomorrow, think to yourself, is that enough? And if it's not, buy some more. Go to bed. Wake up tomorrow morning. Think to yourself, do I have enough? If the answer is no, buy some more. Where There will be one morning when you wake up and you will ask yourself that question and you will say, yes, I have enough. And that is the answer. I think silver definitely has uh, something to rec recommend itself to, to an investor who is prepared, I think, to follow the market quite closely, to uh, monitor a position quite closely, because as I said, it's a volatile metal and you need to be uh, on top of what you're doing, perhaps, but there is scope for bigger moves than in the case of gold. As far as I can see, most of the above ground inventories are gone. And when we reach that inflection point, uh, the price is going to skyrocket.